Welcome back to the channel, everybody. This is Codations coming at you today with another video, ladies and gentlemen, on Cookie Run Kingdom. And today, we're going to be diving into a question that I see asked a ton, especially from new players loading into the game for the very first time. And that's going to be what are the top rare cookies that you can invest in if you do not have a full team of epics? So, hopefully, in today's video, we can answer that question. I'm going to be giving you guys my top five rare cookies, why I feel they are considered at top five, and then only that, what are the limitations and stipulations. Um, with utilizing a rare cookie in general. So with that being said, let's go ahead and dive right in. Diving right in, ladies and gentlemen. So for the first cookie we've got on the top five list, it's going to be none other than Adventure Cookie, all right? Now, we talked a little bit about him over on the tier list video that I did. I will try to remember to pop it somewhere up on screen for you if you haven't checked out that tier list video. But nevertheless, Adventure Cookie definitely um, is a one to that is worth investing in early game um, just because it is going to be a budget-friendly version of Vampire Cookie. And if you don't know, Vampire Cookie is 100% the best single-target damage dealer in in the entire game so you want to make sure that you are 100 picking up a vampire cookie at your earliest convenience um, if you were slacking in the dps department but nevertheless let's say you don't have a vampire investing in adventure cookie early on especially early game is not going to be a bad option just because there's already been videos where um that are showing i believe it's in korean that is actually showing adventure cookie achieving two million that's right two million um points in the world guild boss battle all right so again like i said 100 can be utilized if you have no other option you haven't gotten lucky and pulled yourself a vampire and not only that just because he is a rare cookie it's going to allow you to promote him and max level him a lot lot faster and easier than somebody like vampire so again keep that in mind now I'm taking a look at his skill, as you can see here. You know, they're not expecting it. Adventure Cookie appears behind the rearmost enemy, attacks with a rope, and it incapacitates them. So basically, identical to Vampire Cookie. Um, last but not least, what I want to cover here, if you are looking to build him, I would 100% run him on a Searing Raspberry set, all right? Because he's going to be very similar to Vampire Cookie, you're going to be just basically 100% focused on trying to get the most um, attack on him so then he can do the most damage because that's what you're utilizing him for. He's a single target nuker basically and that's gonna be what you're looking to bring to your team utilizing somebody like adventure cookie so with that being the case we're gonna go ahead and hop over to our number two um, on our top five list for when it comes to cookies to utilize in the rare category and that's gonna be custard cookie all right so if you guys don't already know um, custard cookie is gonna be the free healer that the game gives you very very early on all right so you're gonna be utilizing custard for a good portion um, of your gameplay I know some players that have pretty much been utilizing custard all the way up to like chapter seven and eight even um, because they just have gotten completely unlucky did not get a copy um, of herb cookie or now pure vanilla so with that being the case it's gonna be inevitable you're probably going to be looking for a healer way earlier than chapter six and seven and with that being the case custard is the best um option for healing all right there's just hands down you can't beat it take a look at his skill here heals two cookies with the lowest hp and also cast a short living shield absorbing damage all right so again really really good cookie not only is it gonna be rare easy to level up easy to promote not only that you're going to get several copies of um custard through the summoning session just because the probability is a lot higher to summon a rare over a epic cookie and last but not least like i said it's going to be the only healer you have early game um and definitely needs to be on this list already now when it comes to toppings and investing in toppings when it comes to any individual healer besides pure vanilla all right pure vanilla is going to be an exception but you know when it comes to herb and um also custard both of them you're going to want to run again searing raspberries now it might not make a little bit of sense here in this video just because you know we just said that you know a damage dealer like adventure cookie would get something you know like attack um percent um toppings however why would we put those on custard well if you guys don't already know um when it comes to healing in this game the healing is actually scaled um off of their individual attack so you can see right here 127 percent of attack so that's gonna be the reason why you want to max out attack or get as much attack as you possibly can on a cookie like herb and also um custard because they're going to be able to do a lot more healing um when they do pop off their skills so 100 running him on searing raspberries is going to be your best option but again all around custard cookie really really one to look into and to invest in just because it's going to offer you that survivability and also the best healing that you can get before you pull yourself a herb cookie all right now moving on to the third on the list for the top five and that's going to be none other than carrot cookie now i don't hear a lot of people talk about and mention carrot cookie i think it's she's kind of like a sleeper cookie in my opinion however she offers a lot of utility 
and support. As you can see, that's what her class is. She offers a lot of support and utility uh, for any team composition, and especially early game, if you don't have somebody like, you know, your princess um, of the world and your pomegranate cookie, things like that, Carrot's gonna be a really good option. So take a look at her skill here. Pulls the hardest carrots from the ground and shoots them at the enemy, causing area damage and increasing the party's defense. Cookies co collected after an attack restores some HP. So it's kind of like a budget-friendly version of pomegranate cookie um, mixed with, you know, a uh, strawberry crepe. Basically, increasing the party's defense overall. Um, not only that, is gonna give a little bit of HP back after her attack. And last but not least, she's also um, going to be doing area of effect damage. So again, really, really cool and unique um, ability and kit. Like I said, it's going to be a rare cookie, so obviously easier to level up and promote. However, when it comes to utilizing um, the individual toppings on Carrot Cookie, it's going to be best to run um, the Swift Chocolate one. So the Swift Chocolate is going to be the cooldown reduction um, because you want to make sure that you are utilizing her skill um, as much as possible because that you're going to get that party's defense increase. Um, you're going to get the um, additional um, HP and not only that, the additional damage, you know, area of um, AOE damage um, utilizing her skill. So again, definitely want to be running her on a cooldown reduction set but at the end of the day not a bad cookie to invest in especially if you happen to get her early on um, and you don't have any other epic to replace them all right so moving right along to number four on that list um it's gonna be none other than princess cookie man if you guys don't already know um this was a lot of players early game dark choco all right so this is gonna be the budget version of dark choco um 100 taking a look at the skill here the world is full of adventure princess cookie swings her scepter with a noble smile causing area damage and decreasing um, the enemy's defense, all right? So it's gonna be a defense break at the rare cookie level, all right? So again, with any of these rare cookies, I can't stress it enough, if you guys happen to get a epic version or a better um, placement um, in the epic category, then 100% stop investing in on these rare cookies, even if you've already started investing in on them, and then switch over and invest in those rare, or those epic um, cookies, all right? So again, just keep that in mind. You don't wanna be running these, you know, all the way to end game. You definitely are looking to replace them with epics, and this is gonna be the same with Princess Cookie, when you get a Dark Choco Cookie, which is probably going to be, in my opinion, arguably the best choice for your first mileage, um, you know, summon, but at the end of the day, if you don't happen to get a Dark Choco, Princess is going to be a very viable option, just because you are going to be able to get, um, like I said, that defense break in the rare category. Um, now, moving right along to toppings when it comes to utilizing Princess, I mean, that's going to be obviously the solid almonds, just like Dark Choco, because you're going to be utilizing that damage resistance, um, which will then basically allow, you know, Princess Cookie to stay alive longer because if you guys didn't see you might have you might have looked past it but she is actually a charge cookie just like Dark Choco is so she's going to be on the front line taking a lot of those hits and that's going to be the re where Princess Cookie comes into play utilizing that damage resistance is going only to allow her to stay alive longer to utilize more of that defense break on her skills so 100% really really good diving right into the last but not least cookie and I'm actually going to add a second one um, in the last spot and the reason being is because I am just basically up in the air on which one is going to be 100% better to run. I think it really just depends on the rest of the cookies that you have um, at your disposal or, you know, within your specific team composition. But those two cookies are going to be um, Avocado Cookie and Night Cookie. All right. So let's go ahead and take a look at Avocado Cookie here first. Avocado Cookie is going to be a frontline defense cookie. However, not going to be really adding a whole lot of value to your overall team, but some AoE damage. Um, but it's going to be directly affecting or increasing the attack power of your highest attacking cookie, all right? So if that highest attacking cookie, for instance, you're going to be running a full teams of rares at the beginning, um, and that's going to be Adventure Cookie, let's say. Basically, he's going to be doing a, a power attack increase for Adventure Cookie to allow him to do a lot more damage. So again, that is going to be a good skill and a good, you know, a utility to have on a team comp. Um, however, in my personal opinion, does it really fit the front line um, as a defense cookie? Eh, not really. Um, but again, you know, if you happen to utilize him, it's not a bad way to go. Some people could argue that it is better than Night Cookie. But at the end of the day, if you are looking to run around and run Avocado Cookie, in my personal opinion, you would probably want to run Swift Chocolate um, toppings for that cooldown reduction. So then you can keep that attack power buff up um, as much as possible. Um, or I mean, you could not you would not feel bad about investing into damage resistance just because he is on the front or she is on the front line. She's gonna be taking a lot of hits as well, just like somebody like Princess is. So utilizing the damage resistance top 
toppings also would not be a bad option. But again, like I said, that's going to be avocado cookie. I did not use avocado um, very long in early game progression. I actually utilized instead, me personally, night cookie. Um, now, night cookie, in my personal opinion, is probably the better choice as an early game tank if you have nothing else, no other epics, um, be just because it's going to charge forward, causing area damage and forcing the enemies to attack himself. So he's going to be 100% a tank going to have that, you know, cheap taunting ability that will then make the enemies focus on him, which then will allow all of your other cookies to live a little bit longer and then hopefully kill and DPS um, those enemies down before they kill Night Cookie. All right. So again, a lot of people's arguments when it comes to running um, and utilizing Night Cookie is just going to be because he just doesn't stay alive long enough because he doesn't have that damage reduction or anything like the Milk Cookie, which is basically the, you know, better version of Night Cookie um, in the Epic category. So again, keep that in mind when it comes to the actual toppings on um, Night Cookie. It's probably going to be worth it just to go ahead and run the Solid Almonds just to get that additional damage resistance just to allow Night Cookie to hopefully stay alive longer again. So 100% run Solid Almonds if you are utilizing Night Cookie. Again, you can be definitely swap out Night Cookie for Avocado Cookie. It really just depends um, on what your team composition is and what you are trying to focus on. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, I think it's going to be it for me when it comes to the top five rare individual cookies. Um, again, do not feel bad about investing in them. However, do not push them past level 30 in my personal opinion. Um, we've already done the math. Once you get past level 30, it becomes really, really expensive to spend any experience jellies on a cookie that you are not going to be utilizing elsewhere in additional content or even in-game content. And none of the rare cookies currently right now are going to be utilized as meta or to achieve maximum results so that's gonna be it for me ladies and gentlemen as always please be sure to like comment and subscribe let me know down below in the comments if you guys have any other suggestions or if you guys think another rare cookie should have been featured on the list let me know we can discuss back and forth on it but that's gonna be it for me ladies and gentlemen as always i will see you guys on the next one